हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज अतीश एंड टॉपिक ऑफ दिस लर्निंग वीडियो इज सर्फेस एरिया सर्फेस एरिया इज द लास्ट टॉपिक विच फॉल्स अंडर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस सो लेटस सी वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द सॉलिड जनरेटेड बाय द कर्व सो दिस इज सपोज वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स इज अ कर्व सो दिस पॉइंट इज एक्स इक्वल टू ए दिस पॉइंट इज एक्स इक्वल टू बी now when so this will certainly make an area under this arc or area under this curve when we revolve this curve about x axis from x is equal to a to x equal to b it will generate a solid okay and we have to find out the outer layer outer layer of the solid generated by revolving the curve y is equal to f of x x is equal to a and x is equal to b and about x about x axis it is given by surface area surface area is equal to integration a to b 2 pi y under root of 1 plus dy by dx whole square into dx okay so this is nothing but the surface area uh, of the solid generated by revolving the curve about x axis now suppose you have a curve say you have a curve say x is equal to f of y so repeating in the same manner when we revolve this Curve x is equal to f of y about y axis from ordinate y equal to c to y equal to d. Then its surface area about y axis is given by integration c to d two pi x under root of one plus d x by d y whole square into d y. Okay. no this is not the case always sometimes instead of giving a curve like y equal to f of x or x is equal to f of y sometimes parametric equations will be given to you so for parametric equation of curve say x is equal to f of t y is equal to say g of t from from limit t equal to t0 to t is equal to t1 the surface area the surface area of the solid generated by generated by revolving the area the area bounded by the curves the abscess x is equal to a x is equal to b about x axis is is given by surface area surface area is equal to integration from parameter t0 to t1 Two pi y into under root dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square into dt. One remark I would like to make: these uh, 
सरफेस एरिया बाय फॉर पैरामेट्रिक क्वेश्चन ऑफ कर्व इज वेरी इजी एज कंपेयर टू फॉर कर्व वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स अबाउट एक्स एक्सिस एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ वाई अबाउट वाई एक्सिस समटाइम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल द इक्वेशन ऑफ एस्ट्रॉयड इक्वेशन ऑफ एस्ट्रॉयड इज वेरी लेंदी और इट स्टूडेंट में फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू सॉल्व विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस बट द but with the help of parametric equation of curve it is very easy to find out the surface area for the asteroid now one note i would like to tell you with the help of which it would be easy to solve the problem that we are going to work out with okay so just remember the elementary formula for integration integration of f dash of t into f of t power n dt is equal to f of t power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c when this formula if it is a definite integration then no need of c and if it is indefinite integration that is limit is absent so you have to write down c we have already seen this formula in the uh, quadrature also okay so this is the example that we are going to work out with if you look at the equation given x is equal to a cos cube of t and y is equal to a sin cube of t these are the parametric equation for the asteroid and you are well aware of the equation of asteroid and its geometrical shape it is something like this okay and what would be its coordinate its coordinate would be a0 this is minus a0 this is 0 minus a and this is 0 a okay x axis y axis if you are talking about the cartesian coordinate we can write down this if we talk about the uh, polar coordinate something like so it should be initial line this is line theta equal to pi by 2 okay so this is the asteroid and what we can say or what points we can make about asteroid is this asteroid is symmetric about x axis as well as y axis now for its portion for its portion in the first quadrant in the first quadrant angle t will lie from angle t will lie from if we talk about this much area only so this angle will lie from 0 to pi by 2 okay and as you all aware of the formula that we are going to make use of the parametric formula to find out the surface area so let us find out dx by dt dy by dt so what is dx by dt just differentiate with respect to t so a is constant then 3 cos square t into derivative of cos is minus sin t so i will write minus over here okay similarly you find out dy by dt so what is dy by dt dy by dt is a derivative of sin cube t is 3 sin square t into derivative of sin t is cos t okay so once we have found out dx by dt dy by dt the next thing that we need in the formula of surface area is dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square okay so this is like dx by dt whole square so what is it we have just found out so this is 9a square cos power 4t into sin square t and what is dy by dt whole square this is also 9a square sin power 4t into cos square t so what is common 9a square is common so it will come outside like 3a next sin square t is common here 
and cos square t is common so what is outside you can take out sin t outside and cos t outside so what is remaining the remaining is cos square t from cos outside so remaining is cos square t from here all are constant only sin square t is remaining and this is the very basic identity cos square t plus sin square t is 1 so what is dx by dt plus dy by dt whole square 3a sin t into cos t so all the requirement that we want to find out the surface area with the help of parametric form are done so next let us find out surface area so surface area is equal to if uh, if you take uh, as you know uh, we can find out surface area by revolving the curve about x axis so what are the curve we have in the x axis like from this to this so what i can write i will consider only this and multiply it by 2 because of the uh, symmetry okay so i will write 2 into integration 0 to 0 to pi by 2 into into what is it into 2 pi y into under root dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square into dt so 2 as it is integration 0 to pi by 2 2 pi what is y y we have a sine cube of t we can write into a sine cube of t and this value just we have found out so this is 3a into sine t into cos t dt okay now take out constant outside so this is 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 12 outside a into a a square outside and pi outside so a square pi so what is remaining integration 0 to pi by 2 cos t into sine to the power 4 t dt now i have made a remark i have made a remark this okay if you remember this it is very easy to write down the integration of this function is f of t and derivative of this function is up here derivative of sine is cos so with the help of this result you one can certainly write its integration 12 a square pi what is integration of this integration of this will be sine to the power 5 t upon 5 limit 0 to pi by 2 okay now this is 12 a square pi by 5 so this is what is sine pi by 2 1 so this is 1 power 5 what is sine 0 0 power 5 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so required surface area is equal to 12 a square pi by 5 square units okay so this is what we have the example for uh, surface area i would like you to solve example of the type like this and thank you for watching this learning video make use of it